Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the seventh video as part of our Tally's release 4.0 major release features that we are discussing. And this is the fourth video or the fourth part related to Excel import feature of Tally release 4.0. In the last three videos, we saw how we can use the sample template provided by Tally download the sample template and start capturing your data especially we were discussing about the master accounting master and inventory master so how you can capture those master information in the default template and how we can import we saw and we also saw what are the error message and how we can handle those error message and in the previous video we also understood that how as per your company's requirement if you want to create any accounting additional user defined master how you can import them and also we saw how you can create your own inventory groups as a user defined group and import them now starting from this video couple of video we will learn in case if you have your own excel master data captured in whatever column it is how can you now map this information with the tally field it is very simple how you can map it and import your own excel format of your master data into tally in this video let us see how can we import accounting master from your own excel sheet into tally so let us go to tally and explore this option of importing i have created a new company where it says own excel import company where we will now import the accounting masters from our own excel format or from our own excel column of data that we have captured so quickly if you go to chart of account enter and if you go to ledger you will observe that the default 28 groups and the default two ledger is what is available in this company now let us import the accounting masters that we have created in our own excel sheet i have already created the accounting master in the excel sheet so this is the excel sheet if you observe now the name of the ledger of this company is captured in the first column and the group name is captured in the second column the opening balance the balance type now this could be in any column that you want to capture so basically now you are saying what is the type of opening balance so we say that whether it is debit or credit then in case if you have for any party account opening bills which are pending we can capture here so we are saying opening balance bill date opening balance bill number opening balance bill amount the next is the pending amount type what is the type of our closing bill balance whether it is debit or credit so if it is sundry data it is going to be debit and if it is sundry creditors it is going to be credit you will observe here amar enterprises is a sundry creditor where the amount is 40,000 rupees opening balance which is credit balance and this 40,000 is broken into two bills of 20,000 each and the balance is credit so similarly you can capture the address of the party also the state country and pin code then rest of the ledgers are captured here so let's save this and minimize this excel sheet in the previous videos we had downloaded the predefined excel sheet where tally is giving you the columns for each of master type now one important thing that you have to do now since it is your own excel format we have to now map these fields with the tally's data field so how do we do that come to import and we will come to manage in the earlier videos we saw that you can go to sample excel file download them and fill it up now in this case we have our own excel file so we have to now map this template so you click on map template we have to now create the mapping template so click on create and now tally is asking you where is your file so the file path we saw in our previous videos that it is in the excel data the file to import it gives you the list of all the file now this own ledger master file that we had created is copied under this excel data so automatically tally is displaying all this excel file so we have to now select this own ledger master excel file enter and what is the worksheet name in our file 
if you observe here the worksheet name is sheet 1 so tally is recognize the sheet 1 that there is some data here enter and now we have to give a name for this template give the name as my account masters enter now again what is the type of master that we are going to map it is the accounting ledgers so select accounting ledgers enter and now these are the fields of tally and if you notice here it says that in your excel file if you are going to import ledger master the mandatory information that is to be captured in your excel file should be the name of the ledger which is mandatory and the group name is mandatory rest of the options are optional if you want you can capture them so now what we have to do is very important thing we have to understand now this is the field as per tally prime there are a lot of fields which are there in the upcoming videos i will also discuss about how you can add your own other fields apart from the default master fields so now the first thing is we want the name of the ledger so select name of the ledger and here tally is going to recognize the title that you have given for field in the excel file so let me just open here and if you notice here this will help us to identify what we have entered here so the name tally field name each field we have to now map so how are we going to map first we have selected name which is tally field now you have to select the column header in your excel file for the name of the ledger first field which is column a so the name that we have given for the ledger name is also name it is now giving you here so select name the next one is that what is that you want you want the group name also so come down here select group name and let's see what is the name that we have given in our excel file the name for group also we have given group name so tally is identified this group name here so select this and enter the next thing what you want so let us see our excel file in the next thing what we are saying is that you have opening balances which you want to import into tally so you have said opening balance now if you see here the tally ledger says ledger opening balance so this is what we want to map click here enter and what is the name of the field that we had captured here it says opening balance tally is recognized and it is giving you this so select opening balance enter next you want to specify what is the type of opening balance whether it is debit balance or credit balance the tally field here says ledger opening balance specify whether it is debit or credit so we are going to select this enter here next field what is that we need to map opening balance bill date that is you have sundry debtors and creditors ledger master which has opening balance since it is a running company so we have to now map the date of the opening balance with the field in tally prime so if you see here these are the name that you are seeing in bold are different features where you can select the fields of each of the features now we have to now specify bill allocation so these are bill allocation details that we have to capture so you have to come here to bill allocation and if you want to expand the fields under this bill allocation module all you have to do is press alt and enter when you press alt enter tally is going to give you the list of field related to bill allocation in our excel we have opening balance bill date so tally says the tally field is bill date so select bill date enter and we are going to say opening balance bill date is the field name in your excel select this enter what is the next field that we need to map opening balance bill number you have to map notice here bill name is the field in tally so select this enter and you say opening balance bill name the title in the excel enter what is the next one opening balance bill amount what is the amount of opening balance of the bills that you have tally field says bill amount select this enter and you map your opening balance bill amount the next field that you have to map is pending amount type so what is the type of pending amount bill here you have two bills we saw here for our enterprises who is a sundry creditor and both the bill have credit balance there could be a possibility that one bill could be debit balance one bill could be credit balance so we have to now specify the pending amount type so which means here it is asking you bill amount type you have to understand the difference between ledger opening balance type and the bill amount type okay this is for your ledger and this is for your bill wise module what is the type of closing balance or the opening balance so select bill amount debit credit and here we are saying pending amount type 
this is our title select this so this takes care of your ledger group bill opening bill type another thing for some of your party account you also have address state country and pin code so now when you come here you have another section called mailing detail so come down to mailing detail and press alt enter again and here it is asking you the field or providing you the field name here which is the tally field column that we have here is the party address select address here enter and we are going to select party address that is what we are mapping here the next one that we have here is state select state here select here and again the name that we have provided is also state enter the next is country and pin code that is what we have in the two column select country enter our file also has field name called country then pin code select pin code enter and select pin code from the excel field so we have now mapped each field as per the tally prime field that is required to port the data with the field name that you have created for the own excel that has been created so now we say end of list and we are going to accept this i hope mapping of the tally field with your column header is clear because if we don't do this mapping properly you cannot import your data click on accept enter so now we have already mapped so we had created our template with the mapping of tally prime field with your own field which we said my accounting masters so now we have to import this how do we import this click on import what we are going to do we are going to import master this is these steps are exactly like the earlier videos that we learned select masters and now the file format is excel spreadsheet where is your file the file is in excel data folder and when you come down here now you are going to select your own ledger master excel so select this mapped ledger master template enter and now the type of master it is already recognized that it is ledger since we have already mentioned while mapping it now since this is first time we are importing either ideally we can select with modify with new data enter do you want to preview the import summary yes enter now tally is recognized those fields and now it is mentioning that these are the groups under which the number of ledgers that are there or the count of ledgers that are there so now we need to import so click on import so tally is imported without any error let's quickly go and see the masters and we will observe now the hdfc bank the ledgers under sundry data has been imported two ledgers under fixed asset and all other things if you observe here the 28 predefined groups are as it is and apart from the two ledgers that tally provides 15 more ledgers we have imported into tally so quickly let us see whether tally is taken the opening balance also if you observe here suri enterprises sundry debtors has an opening balance of 75000 with bill number 124 25000 and 145 50000 with two different date 15th february and 20th of march so let us go to tally select sunil enterprises it will take us to ledger alteration screen sunil enterprises we can observe that the address is also captured the opening balance of 75000 is captured when you click on the debit enter it will take you to the bill wise allocation where we saw 15th of february one bill of 25000 then 20th of march another bill of 50000 so total 75000 is what it is captured so this way all the ledger opening balances will be captured as we have entered in our excel sheet so quickly let us see hdfc bank enter so 240000 debit balance of hdfc bank is also displayed here hdfc bank 240000 by mapping tally prime field with your own excel field you can now import the masters we can also import the transactions which we will see in the upcoming sessions from your own excel sheet I hope this video would have given you a clarity of how you can map your own field in Excel with the fields related to tally masters and how easy it is to import it. Now in the upcoming video, we will see how you can import your inventory masters from your own Excel data sheet. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.